Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. After the black sun hanging high in the sky was well dead, Madeline finally won brief spice. Each tribe is taking the opportunity to build, helping each other through these shared hardship. Aisen and the car even travel together to the flower of the clan, but the discovery kind of well deceased. Fate is cruel and all things must change, yet as long as we unite and stand together, we have nothing to fear. Today we'll continue to remember and our clan stories. First things first, we're gonna try out this pretty bitch of Natlin, Chaska. Come on, show us our animation for you, lady. <sighs> okay, there you go. Without that hat? Okay. <laughs> Oh, pity. What I know. She could. Hold on a sec. There you go. I was like. Oh, shit. She could fly with a gun? That's beautiful. The way she posed me to fly with a gun. Oh, my God. Is that how you step on your enemies, too? She goes up. Damn. Posing. And she goes down. Ooh. Hold up, hold up. No oh, shit! Left click, she just goes down like that, that's it. I was trying to do it earlier. When she boosts, she go fast. I am very curious though. I am here to kill these people. Oh, what? It was short. Oh, wow, no breeze before them. Oh, wait, attack. Your bow looks pretty too, by the way. Now I'm gonna attempt to pull for the pretty lady. I got one of 60 pulls ready, but I got 20 more to go after this. Look at that, I got golden! Okay, let's click it away and see what we got. That's circles. Circles again. Do you look here, fuck off? Hey, golden again! Let's get it! Okay, those are weapons, I know what those are. That's another weapon. Chaska, flower of oh. the clan. Any disputes you need me to end for you? Depending on the situation, it could cost you a little dignity, a few drinks, or potentially a round of ammo. Yeah, thank you, lady. It took me to get extra primal gems just to get her. That's better than nothing, you know. Welcome to the team, for you, lady. <laughs> okay, put your hat back on, please. I'm gonna give her this just because it's red, just like hers. As much as I would like to use Chaz on my team right now, I have to grind for a fuss. So maybe next episode I would use her. And let's be replaced by her, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. No more bow. But since I need, I mean, do you think it's the only choice for being a claymore for fire? So. Oh, look, it's Aysen! What you doing here, buddy? What's 50? What you doing, little boy? I'm a woman. Take it back! I brought all the stuff over, coach. What's next? Uh... Wait, so Aysen is not speaking anymore? So I guess I'm the one talking. Is it the before the world begins? You do I judge up by the house of the north? The pussy should go to the west! The world built the compass beneath my feet is way here! The whole thing would need to be with a voice! Alright, I'll start by moving the boxes over. I could have sworn the last update he was speaking. I'll help you. I guess These things can get pretty heavy. I guess they got affected by the VA strike too. Nah, nah, I got this. These muscles aren't just for show, you know. Mm, you see that? Ah. Perfectly defined. I can lift this stuff up with one hand. Fine. As long as you don't wind up too sore to move tomorrow. I don't want to hear any complaints from you. Just prepare to be amazed. What? You just hug me, not killing it. Uh, my back. Sit, Willy. Well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Take time to get some rest and apply some meds. Take it easy for the next. Few days of right. I don't want to gain less. You don't push yourself. You can help and wash your bed. Uh, I knew I should have trained harder. Harder? It's about the West, you know. Look at this definitely from work, from work. You got ease into it. Anyone see how no Simon? Chief Moto needs our help. Ethan! Ethan! Bye, man! The hell are you doing here? We were just about to ask you the same thing. We didn't expect to run into you in these parts. Uh, well, my tribe is pretty good. Shape all this consider we are already done over pairs. I heard a flower feather clan was hitting the lost worse, though I decided to come help. 
On the way, I went to the capital of Mershon from the tribe and brought them along. These are my students. Wow, you're a sports coach. Aha! Good memory! You're a sports lover? I can design a train plan for you. Looks like you're a pretty good shape already. Can't play a fighting extreme sports you can take your pick. As for you, Paimon! We about to solve with your balance meal plan. What? There's nothing wrong about Paimon's current meal plan? Like today, Paimon just had some blazed meat stew, fried shrimp bean balls, sour sauce kipper, and stuffed and mashed potatoes. That's practically nothing. That's still unhealthy, little shit! Mmm, that's queso is even worse than I imagine. I know, just the thing. Kale juice! I'll make you some soon! Kale juice? Uh... Wait, isn't that your favorite drink, Trevor? If Eonsan's going to make some for free, Paimon would feel terrible if you won't get to try it. Uh, anyway, that's enough to eat out of our data now. A little while earlier, the chief asked me to bring a few people to help with something. Are you too free? As you can see, due to unforeseen causes, I'm sure if you're people. Of course, we're also here to help. Let's go see the chief. Perfect. Then follow me. Oh, that boost is good for him. I mean, her. I can't, I know it looks like a dude, but it's actually a woman. Oh my god, look at the cheap place around here. Full of stars. Is this where a Chaska is staying? Oh wait, no, 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 no. This is Ison's tribal. I think. I wasn't paying attention, so. That's the chief! Ooh, okay. We made it, my tribal chief! You're here, Eon san. <gasps> oh, damn! And you must be the traveler in Paimon. Look at the outfit of his I've heard damn. A lot about you. I'm sure we'll have a much better time now with your help. Some of Skies, and people are saying this is pretty much better than a new chaos. is like, really? Point. All the people behind your warriors from your tribe? Did something bad happen to them? Cold. So cold. Duarte, are you there? I'm drowning, and there's something in the water. He's on the ground, but it almost looks like he's trying to swim. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This. The abyss is coming. There are eyes in my hands, and hands in my stomach, and my stomach is full of teeth. It ain't all of you. It's coming for me, too. But we haven't been eaten. We're right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Monstrous beasts! How did you get in here? Yo, chill out. The pie in hallucination mode from the disease are dealing with. As you can see, their mental state is quite poor. They went missing after the battle. We found them in the wilderness in the days that followed, but the damage had already been done. What could have caused this? We found them unconscious in areas corrupted by abyssal tumors, lying next to their deceased comrades. My only guess is that something terrible must have happened during the battle. According to the chief of the Masters of the Nightwind, Sudden exposure to a large amount of abyssal power can have mental as well as physical repercussions. We've never seen the effects this heightened before. But maybe Gasoythoth was just too powerful. Gasoythoth? What's that? It's the abyssal monster that appeared in the sky not too long ago. After consulting our ancient legends, we decided to call it Gasoythoth. Reaper of the Abyss. To retreat, though. True. It poses no threat to us now. But whatever wound it inflicted on these warriors still endures. We scoured all sorts of records for a solution. But nothing came of it. There was some mention of a treatment from several hundred years ago. But that knowledge is long gone. I could try to help. Right! You can purify abyssal power! Might as well give it a try! If that works, that'll be a miracle. He's like, I'm the main character. I'm gonna suck it out. Is it working? Next person. Oh, they come down. It didn't work. That must mean purifying the abyssal power within them still isn't enough. <laughs> In any case, thank you for trying. So, what can we do now? Hey, don't tell me. My friend is. It's just gonna be like this forever? Come back to me, Gogeta! Please, don't leave me like this! 
We beat Gasoithoth. They survived the battle. Are we really just gonna sit back and watch them lose their minds? <laughs> oh, of course not. What is it, Aeon-san? We're taking it case by case. First of all, we shouldn't keep them cup up in here. The Vonius isn't any good. Let's, let's let them go while they feel comfortable in the eighth uh, Paimon and I will talk to them. But, uh... Are you sure about this? I'm fucking sure. Don't be fucking worried. Just got a little small and shit. But uh, we don't have any other solution right now, right? Maybe it's work. Maybe it doesn't. But we won't know until we try. Well, don't just fucking stand down. Let's let them go. Send us all to follow them. Don't stick too close. We'll need to keep tabs on their ass. I follow Isis' command, the crowd disappears. Or oh, disappears. What's the difference? Oh, wait, it's up to us now. Let's talk to them one by one. This is the best decision, but I know the warrior will find a way to pull through. After all, we've overcome so many challenges already. One by one. I, I mean, whatever, dude. I can't even speak right. Goodness God, do I down deal? I like this map and hold. Okay, this show is something interesting actually. Y'all see the distance? Ain't that amazing they made? I went off camera, but I'm gonna do this later on. Well, off camera to get all the map areas. It's pretty sick though. Okay, first one, first foremost, we stifle this who's sitting there in the corner. Nancy, three, ill person. Found him! Hello! Can you hear me? It's so dark. It's so cold. I want to go home. Okay, just wait a long it will take you home. The car from the child should have bust some firewood. I think it's starting to bother my help. Huh? Don't say hi to me, you little fuck! Uh, when it's dark, damn cold, what's better than a fire? Maybe you'll like when we have questions for seas. But here, while I'll grab some firewood. This voice sounds so worse. Her voice sounds so worse. <laughs> it's so funny you next to me. My underwater. Where is it coming from? Oh, that's what he's in his POV. It's working! Is, is someone there? Please save me. No. No, wait. You have to leave this place. The water's too deep. You won't make it. It's okay. We must have found the people of this place. They're great, great swimmers. We're here to save you. No. Please. Just leave me, Duarte. Oh no, it's not working anymore! Was that probably wasn't enough? That was the second time he mentioned his name, Duarte. Maybe we can start there. Let's ask him to see what we can learn. Good idea, good idea. Let them just stand there for a while. Oh, they don't want to fail? Okay. <laughs> just watching the distance going like, that guy is just not okay, isn't he? Nope, he's not okay. Okay, now let's speak with you. How the hell is your name? My friend. Is he any better? Uh, he's well, 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 but I want to ask, does it ain't Duarte ring any bells for you? Duarte? Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. Duarte was the name of Otoko's Surian companion. Otoko almost drowned as a child, and Duarte was the one who saved him. He dove deep into the water and used all his strength to carry Otoko back to the surface. It was pretty touch and go, but both of them made it in the end. That means we just need to bring Dottie here and... Well, you see, Duarte died four years ago during an okay, that's invasion. What I he was helping evacuate injured warriors from the front lines, but fell to an ambush. Hmm. What did Dottie look like? He was a bit on the smaller side, but other than that, he was just your average Kukasaur. Well, hold on. What are you planning? We just need to impersonate him. Please don't look at your phone, because you already have a plan. All right, let's get to work. Uh, uh, thank you for your information. We need to work if we can help your friend. No problem. Thank you for looking out for him. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. If Chaska has no voice actor either, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't want to. I just sound so sexy and annoying for you guys. Like, really? Okay, so. Damn, it's not the cowboy music vibes here. I like that here. So I'm gonna go up there and I guess I am. Hey, I didn't want to use this. He's like, go on, go ahead. Okay, so I had to. Wait, hold on, viewpoint. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna click on summon. Did I just wanna? Oh, that makes sense. 
Wait, are you saying I gotta beat this bird? Nah, you just need to do what? Just fly? Oh, what button? Nah, you just need to... Damn, look at these animals! Okay, let's fly this way. Like, whee! Got me down, got me down. Look at the bird. I'm a bird! Alright. Hey! Will you notice me? Hi! Hello! Uh, cock doo doo We're back! How are you feeling? Uh, uh, Duarte? Step forward. I'm the bird. It works better than nothing, you know. How... Uh, how did you get here? Are you here to save me? It's working! Shh, Paimon! If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna close line you my little baby hands! Okay, what now? Uh... Uh... Oh... Uh, Top his head. Wait, no, hold on. Let's try, let's try the middle part. Uh, let out a little boy. Don't you? This place is dangerous. Still. I'm actually doing it. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Hearing you make that noise reminds me of our first few battles together. You were such a little thing back then. And I also had no idea what I was doing. He's still trapped in hallucination. God damn! Okay, uh, tap his hand with your claw. What? Wait, let's go away! That hurt. Duarte, you have to get out of here. There's something in the water. That didn't work. It's bleeding. Okay, let's try to push a knife from behind. Huh. You're gonna carry me out of here just like last time. <laughs> okay, did that work? Over a decade later, and you're still trying to save me. I can't believe you made it this deep underwater, but I'm so glad you found me. Once we're out of here, let's split a huge portion of blazed meat stew, just like old times. I owe you for this. We're almost at the surface. People tried to tell me you were dead, you know? <laughs> As if I'd let that happen. He doesn't know. I promise to protect you. There's no way. No way. He doesn't know, he doesn't know that- No. Wait. I failed. I- Oh shit! Oh no! He's getting sus! Slap him harder. Did I just drop kick him? <laughs> Violent coughing? <laughs> Duarte! Wait, you're not Duarte. I'm Ethel, who is being a Pokemon. How did I get here? Who are you people? Otoko! There you go. He's Kaylee. W what's going on? All I remember is the battle against the Abyss, and and then I, I was drowning. And a Saurian that looked like Duarte saved me. How did I get here? You explain the city to Octico. Uh, you went through all that for me? While well, all I did was cause trouble for everyone? I'm so sorry. Not your sure fault. Maybe it's not my place to say this, but Scott is on yourself. This has to move past what happened here and what happened to Dante. Thank you. I appreciate that. Go on, get some rest. I think I will lead to you. Oh, if I say your name. Goodness God. Okay, so next person. Oh yeah, it's that woman who's hallucinating too. You next. What's going on with you? It's coming for me. It's gonna eat me. It's okay. There's nothing to fear. God thought it has lost. Nothing can hurt you anymore. It's no use. It'll just come back. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop the abyss. It will devour everyone. <laughs> One day, we'll oh, she looks so angry. The, the fuck's going on? Stomach. Maybe it's just Paimon, but she seems to be in even worse shape than Atoko. She can talk to us, but nothing she says makes any sense. She also seems really afraid. Afraid is right. What about Trigger? The battle of the Abyss, or maybe like Ako Akato? Is he deep with fear, and the Abyss just made it worse? Oh, wait, just avoid. let's go see what we learned from about past. Eonsan, I heard you cured a toko. I'm so relieved. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? If you need extra hands, I can. 
a tribal chief, Mata! Perfect timing! I was looking for you. I want to ask you some questions. Explain what you do to kill Oka as well as a cocktail chief. I think to you're chief. onto something. The mental distress does seem to be connected to pre-existing fears and anxieties. Kochita doesn't like it when people talk about her past. But the situation is urgent. So, I guess I'll be the bad guy. Ian-san, do you believe there are people in this world destined for battle? Mm. Yes, I can defense this when I instruct it to a positive gift student. It's feel like, wow, you were born to play the sport. Then, what about people destined to be unfit for battle? The fuck do you mean by that, Tribal Chief? When Kachita was little, her parents died fighting the Abyss. She was only 11 or 12 at the time. And her brother, even younger still. The two saw their parents collapse in a pool of blood as flames roared and spread all around them. Kochita trained hard to become a warrior, but still found fighting Abyss monsters too difficult to handle. She and her brother were left with severe trauma after the incident. Pain and fear that they could not get over no matter what. But isn't Kochita one of the warriors who fought the Abyss? Didn't you find her unconscious out on the field? Yes, we did. You see, something changed within her several years ago when the Abyss attacked our tribe and broke into her home. By the time the guards rushed to the scene, they found her standing there and the Abyss monster dead at her feet. She didn't even look at it and just kept repeating the same thing over and over. You're the only family I have left. I won't let anything happen to you. She became a completely different person after that. She earned a reputation as a very capable warrior and fought countless battles against the Abyss. We all thought she overcame the trauma and we were so happy for her. But now it seems like even if she buried it deep within herself, the fear still never left her. Hmm. Maybe if I the best was a witness mistaken show sure she won't lose anyone else. Maybe the thought of experiencing that pain against yells her more than the abyss. On the outside, her trust of fight made her seem strong, but she never forget the trial of the night. The abyss just brought it back to the goddamn surface. How can we help her? This one is fucking tricky. If we can find a way up to it, then. Quali? What are you doing? Uh? Quali? What are you doing with that weapon? Show me the monster that hurt you! I'll make it pay! I, tired, I'm, I'm going to protect you this time! Calm down, Quali! That monster is already. I can do it! I don't care what it takes! I just want her to get better. She's the only family I have left. Family? Hold on, Tribal Chief Malta. Look at how like is responding to his words. If Quali goes to battle, the Abyss will devour him. I can't let that happen. I have to do something. But it's useless. No one can beat the Abyss. It's a death sentence. Just like what happened to Mom and Dad. You have to fear Kala's muscles already. But I'm no warrior. I'm just a coward. Still, I have to protect Quali. What should I do? Kojita. I think you just need to fight it one more time. Fight it? One more time? Good idea, Ether. I feel the best was deep, but still has the will to fight. Just need to defeat the abyss most by herself, and we can prove to her that the abyss is invisible. Just like you said, I think it's worth a try. Plus, with us well, we can make sure she won't get hurt. Hello, this doesn't mean find the abyss monster. Try checking the mountains to the north. A few fled in that direction after the battle. I dispatched a team to clear them out, so most of them should be gone. But there might still be a few stragglers. Great! Then let's go right now. Do so you can make it? There's no turning back. I have to face it. Even if it will devour me whole, I'm coming too! I'm not letting my sister face this alone! Not anymore! Uh, uh, Alright then, stay close, let's go! Oh, we're gonna fight already! This is in the north side, which is over there. Even while you're flying, look at that in the distance! Ain't that beautiful? Oh look, a capybara! Out of all the enemies, it has to be the wolves! Are you serious? I don't wanna fight these things! 
Damn. Found him! Let's get started! Ew, what could you do? You know, how do you force yourself to do this? How do I make this easier for her? I guess we could whirl him down first, but I think it's better to send Guy for now. We should wait for the right moment to interview. You! You were the ones who killed them! The wolves? Really? As a kid, I thought my parents were invincible. They were always so strong and gentle. They seemed like the most powerful people in the world, but I can still see the image of them collapsed at my feet that night. The raging fire, the smoke, the smell of blood, the sound of my brother's cries. It's all burned into my brain. They told me to run, and I could see the fear in their eyes. I've been running from my fears ever since. But why didn't my parents run? It must have been because... You can do it! Because of our family. When you have someone to protect, there's no backing down. No matter what. <laughs> oh, that sounds so... Hey, look at her! Find it, see. Yeah. Stay away from my brother! Yeah, girl, you got- I should too. Let's go! Let's go! Where's the next one? And Bustery! Katrina! Wait, but just Lenny, start using the bow. Well, sadly, you're gonna be replaced. Well, he's like the only- Well, I don't have any power criminals other than D Luke. My goodness, that's like something. Actually, wait, I could use Ashalino, but this. she's not a Claymore I user. Have to do this. Oh god, it's the big one, it's the big boy. Yeah. Oh, I'm being effective. Is that good? Hey, swing at me! Go on, go on! Swing at Beto! Come on! I'm gonna do it. Oh, you never get a ton! You're not gonna swing at me for being so hot? Come on! Okay, how did this sign accounts? It wasn't a lot! Yeah, you're being affected by the water! Yeah, that must have hurt. Look at that! What are those Jesus getting shocked though? I never noticed that! Okay, how about you swing? Do the swing! Two claymores! And swing! I'll make you wet. My turn to swing! Hey! Did it! Done right? Where are the rest? Where are they hiding? You defeated them. The last trap was as a profession. You put us in a single hit. That's impossible. They were gigantic beasts crawling with eyes, ready to devour everything in sight. No. Wait. What am I saying? Abyss monsters are not actually that oh, scary. Shit. I've bad. defeated them before. I know I have. She's back to shit. normal! Kutita! What just happened? Yes, yeah, since to Kutita. So I was stupid! That is God, God. embarrassing. Sorry about that. I've always envied warriors who don't get scared or feel lost. It really felt like I was getting stronger over the years. But in the end, maybe I never made any progress at all. I think you're to listen to your limits. Just take your training, push too hard, it won't hurt you the long run. It's, everyone needs time to rest. Besides, I think you won't have to face those fears alone anymore. Even though we're both scared of monsters, you were always the one who stepped up to protect me. But not anymore. I'm going to get stronger. From now on, we're in this together. Is that so? Then I'll look forward to the day when you'll be all big and formidable. I finally feel like myself again. I couldn't have done it without you all. Thank you for everything. I think I'll rest here for a bit. I don't think I can make it back to the tribe just yet. I'll keep you company. Oh, well, the way back. I made sure to check the area for most of the clear, so take your time. Sometimes I feel we'll never truly release us, but tomorrow's a new day. As long as you keep moving forward, there'll be a better day to come. It is right, so now what is the next place to go to? Okay, we're back here. Toko's all better. Did you hear? Uh, 
Really? Yes, really. It's all thanks to the Traveler and Eonsan. I see. This is Eonsan, I okay. was wondering Honey. why the Traveler was chosen to accompany the Pyro Archon in the final battle. But I guess he really can do the impossible. Yeah. Ooh, I, I think he's talking shit about me, apparently. I hear your people. Now, who's not supposed to talk to, by the way? Okay, I just got here. Why did I win this way, first of all? Dolls so all shit. those rumors about the Traveler really are true. Yes, yes it is! I'm the main character! Kajita's getting better too! Yeah! You're welcome! Luigi, give me a hand for a sec. Alright. Luigi's not. She's not here anymore. Oh, don't remind me! Do not remind me! <laughs> oh my god, Chasa lost his sister. The two people's down! You amazing both suffer either! Bubble your will, all your skiff, all your travels, why? You really know I have to take your people's health, but since you came to nothing, I've been feeling a lot better about generating the war. Hmm. You help a lot too. Yeah. Honestly, Paima was at a complete loss when she saw so many sick people on the hot air balloon platform. We only found the solution this time because you kept her cool and took control of the situation. You deserve most of the credit. Well, who am I to out such a nice compliment? Most people say the first step is the hardest, but it's not actually all the hard. If you actually do it in your own head, it's does not feel to come in. I'll never get it! Might as well not try! I hear those guys talk all the time, but if you break your goal into small parts, the first step might actually turn out to be the easiest. Whoa, you're right! That makes a lot of sense! Just like when I told you to eat less goddamn meals and drink more cow juice! You probably heard that turn tough. I thought I could never eat meat again. I never took couches from every meal. I practically starved. Hmm. I probably feel singly. <laughs> if we have the artists will start to eat two fewer stews of blazed meat, stew, and add some couches for nutrition, that's it. It's not about drag chains at all. Once. That sounds like something Paimon could do, but would that really change anything? Cosmos is key. You can't come with your goals in one fell swoop. You have to eat them anyway at the little by little. Mage name means power, do you know that? So if everyone thought I would go up be tall, Billy muscular warrior. But that's not what happened. And then we were confused and disappointed. My fellow warriors couldn't understand why I invaded that name over them. At first, I also felt lost. It was only little diverse, true straight busy boils down to problem solving. Physical strength just means it's like the end of anything else. So I begin to break problem down into smaller parts. When facing a unpossible solution, you just need to act. If you fail, so what? That's just life. Anyway, that's what I learned over the years. Maybe I'll be considering it for someday. Well said. Oh. Well, when you put it that way, Paimon's almost encouraged to start drinking kale juice tomorrow. No, today. Paimon will start today. You're amazing, Amazon. You really make Paimon feel like she can do the impossible. Maybe your true strength is giving other people strength. I don't deserve that much goddamn credits. You only have the strength with you. I'm sure you face more obstacles than I can imagine during your travels, but you never gave up. That proves it. I bet I could learn a thing or two from you. Hyansan, bad news. Okoban is out of control. Uh oh, big guy. Stay calm. I'll be right there. Let's get the test going over. Come on, let's go see him. Uh oh, we're gonna hold the hell up because he's like going out of control up there. Hey, what you doing? You, you swing at people? What's going on, dude? Oh my god, what is happening? What are you doing, Uncle Lin? Wake up! Don't you recognize us, my boy? All these monsters, oh <sighs> shit. <sighs> the abyss monsters are everywhere. Everywhere. They've taken over the tribe, no corner is safe. Did we lose the battle? No. It's pointless to think about that now. A warrior only has one job. Fight until the very end. Careful! He's not himself! Ho Kotlan! Get the book fuck! I think he heals right now! We need to get him under control! Let's go! Oh, we're gonna knock him down. That's what it looks like. Let's ride! Yep, here we go. Lolly, make them wet! <laughs> Katrina! Use your walks. Lenny, burn. Give me your worst. Go on, Lenny, you got this. Yeah, the good news is Lenny. Get out of my tribe. What's he doing? Okay. 
it was still, um, you didn't hit me at all. Then he's like doing the monsters, I think. I got this as the great magician. Alright, Beto! Hey, what up, boy? I'm gonna swing at you. Mom, Dad, or God. Um, this is my final battle. Um, I was trying to swing at you. Oh, shit! Oh, I was knocking him. Wait, hold up. Can I knock him out? I'm gonna swing like this. Waiting, waiting. I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna knock him down. Off the tribe area. There you go. Come on, come on. He's almost knocked down. I want to see if I could, though. Not yet. Never mind. It would be funny if he did. Please, son. You've got to stop. You can't keep going like this. Wretched monsters. Give me my family back. Look, Uncle Lin. That's your father. He's standing right in front of you. Get out of my home. I'll never forgive you. Okay, what are we doing now, Aizen? Ooh. Oh, nice! Look at that. Are you alright, sir? <coughs> I'm fine. Please, don't hurt my son. He's just trying to protect his home. Don't worry, we're fussing up. Got him. <gasps> From the other two, it's like he can't hear us at all. He keeps calling us monsters. We're basically enemies to him now. He sure knows how to fight. <laughs> oh, cold one. He has a fine spirit, that's for sure, but we can't keep him in close forever. I need to think. Abyssal corrosion syndrome. And that's, that's, um, Capatino. And it's resurfaced again. Huh? That voice, it's. The captain? Oh, is his voice acting disappeared? So, you've seen this illness before? Direct contact with high concentrations of abyssal power causes irreversible mental oh, trauma God. in most people. The exact presentation will vary according to trauma level. Some will suffer from superficial hallucinations and maintain the capacity to perceive the outside world. In such cases, Verbal and physical interaction can be used to break through the hallucination. However, there are also those who are so far gone, entrenched in hallucinations so deep, that medical intervention is the only option. That's why we developed the Drought of Lucidity. The Draft of Lucidity? It's a kind of medicine that can dispel the psychological sorry, impact sorry. of the abyss. The treatment comes with severe side effects including chronic migraines for the rest of the patient's life. So, it's reserved for the worst cases. This man is a devoted warrior, one not easily swayed from battle. That is precisely why it's so difficult to pull him out of this hallucination. If you trust me to be true to my word, give him this. Take this drug. Wretched monsters! Setting up an ambush! Give me your worst! It's either your end or mine! Hurry! He's awake! Please, give him the draft. My son thinks he's alone in this world. In his mind, all his family and comrades are gone, and only enemies remain. There's nothing more painful for a warrior than losing everything you fought so hard to protect. As a father's request, I sent I said the dungeon for the captain and quick gave it to Octolan. Monsters! Uh, uh, what? What's going on? I, Dad, what are you doing here? Are you stupid? You're acting all weird. Ah, uh, my head hurts. I just had the strangest dream. I dreamt the abyss took over the tribe. It's all right, my boy. It was just a nightmare. Let's go home. You need a good night's sleep. But first. I want to thank you for saving my son. May I ask your name? For, <clears throat> just Capitano is fine. I oh, owe right. you more than words can say, Mr. Capitano. Capitano. My name is Mune. You're welcome in my home anytime. Time to go, son. Can you stand? <sighs> I'll be getting him back. He fell. Let's go later. Good idea. I said, son. At the crowd's field, the cap the captain's hands is feeling more those mess to guys so that everything will keep be killed. Thank goodness everything turned out alright! 
Thank you. Think nothing of it. I agreed to offer you my aid, so this is merely a part of that duty. Besides, I care deeply about this land. Right! When we were with Moika, you told us you and your soldiers defended Natland against the Abyss 500 years ago. That's right. My desire to protect this nation remains unchanged. When my platoon arrived in Natland 500 years ago, like you, we were true outlanders. But as time passed, I encountered the people of this land and witnessed their desperate struggle against the Abyss. Though many of the warriors were rash and inexperienced, they were steadfast and fearless in battle, willing to do anything to protect their fellow citizens, oftentimes with complete disregard for their own survival. Just as I fought for the glory of Conria, they fought for the survival of their nation. Are we, we able to, to see like that landmark of the So Sisnaya? I decided to offer my aid. We fought side by side to the very end. I traveled to many places after that, but I never forgot this land. Even now, my work in Natland remains unfinished. Why oh, did you oh, hold up? Never mind. Uh, Natland has forgotten you either. They remember who I used to be, the Sentinel Knight, who fought with the Masters of the Nightwind. Still, I prefer to leave all that in the past. That name carries with it the glory of my homeland and the honor of Natlan. Yet, I failed to bring my soldiers home. And I failed to help Natlan defeat the Abyss. But that's not your fault. The Abyss is way stronger than any of us imagined. You need not comfort me. I am no longer who I once was. Let the events of the past continue to collect dust in the annals of history. I will continue to help Natlan in my own way. Like, with the draft of lucidity? Who knew you could make medicine? Were you a doctor before? The drought was Guthred's invention. He was a respected military doctor, as well as my trusted second-in-command. We faced a similar situation to what you witnessed today. The endless battles against the Abyss triggered delusions among the soldiers, to the point where some attempted to kill each other. In order to develop a treatment as fast as possible, Guthred used himself as a test subject. He passed away shortly after the drought was complete. That's who he was. Unrelenting in his pursuits. No matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice. In the end, he even gave himself up for a chance of success. I'm sure he would be pleased his creation aids people even now. The Abyss has wrought enough suffering on this land. I sincerely hope this war will end soon. No matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice. Huh, that sounds rather really familiar. Was that before Stop somewhere? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. It must be why I've returned. For this moment. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. It was good though, wasn't it? That guy? You're more perceptive than I imagined. However, some things are better kept secret for now. We may be working together. But our goals are not entirely aligned. What's with the secrets all of a sudden? I'm not starting to think we should be more careful around you. I do not mean to jeopardize the trust between us. I simply prefer to keep this to myself because it's a personal matter. All I can tell you is this. Natland may have survived the worst of the crisis, but the souls of this land are still not at peace. And that is why my work is not yet done. Well, if it's personal, then... We'll just have to trust you. If you have other questions, I'm willing to answer them. Wait, like anything? Hana wants to know how you eat with the mask. Anything you want to ask, Traveler? What? Actually, does Sunil want to know? Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the Ruler of Death's power. That price is death. And only Mawika's death can clear the debt. Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. Could the cousin know something about the wood of death? I might get the opportunity again. I should ask him. Ask about the wood of death. In the garden cultivated by the gods, flowers and weeds grow side by side. When the weeds compete for nutrients in the soil, the gardener intervenes to inhibit their growth. I'm not one to pass judgment based on my own standard of right and wrong. But. It is an undeniable fact that she is responsible for my suffering, as well as that of my people. If that explanation is too difficult to understand, 
Allow me to show you exactly what I mean. Okay, you gotta... Seriously? Could I see the face too? The curse of immortality. The ruler of death can freely define the form of death. I wanna see the face, come on, come on, I wanna see it. immortality to anyone she desires. Her power is a rule Do in and of itself. Do we get to see itself. it? It's going up. Oh, There's come on! Power. It can feel hopeless to resist. I guess it was a mystery then. Is that, is it was it? all curious of how it looks like, other than fan arts. But I am of the belief that in this world, no destiny is unchangeable. No death inevitable, and no rule unbreakable. So, before the final moment truly arrives, we must fight harder than ever. Hey, Ether! Bye, man! Sorry, how am I going to be? Amy, hey, after happy other back home, I went to a small walk and happened to want to mention the center of the canopy. He's been looking for you everywhere. Oh, did something happen? Apparently, she learns how to start forging your agent names. She needs to check the parts of Pearl and Carlin. That's what she gave you before. She invited a bunch of people to be there, including me, so let's head to the center and once you're done here. This is a critical time for you, Traveler. It's best not to delay, so let us end our conversation for now. Best of luck to you all. Goodbye. And we shook hands. Okay, bye bye. What? What a weird ass mysterious guy. Still, this is got to be deserved as before. We're we'll basically coming now, right? Anyways, let's head to the stadium. We should keep it waiting. Ooh, can't wait to see everyone. The captain still hasn't told us oh, my bad. Anyways, yeah, that's it true. Okay, I am trying to check how far it is. Never it mind. Just so tired, you know? Since they've both been alive for many centuries, do you think that's just what happens when you've been alive for too long? I wouldn't say that. But even custom, maybe. Oh, man, they're toys! Oh my god, not toys, me! He also had a nice leg. Alright, now we're here. Oh my god, oh, am I gonna force all of them? I'll listen to his voice is fine, I don't know. Oh, Grace, there's no VAs. Of course there's no VAs like this guy again, I guess I'm still digging. Sure, I took your sweet last time! What's so like? How do you get the only way to go out of the hall waiting? Leave us your paws Oh, real! <laughs> Ow! The fuck, Kanich? <laughs> of course. Don't listen to that. Don't, don't listen to that asshole. We just got here too. Kanich, Kachina, Moalani? Woo! Everyone's here! Reunited at last. Did you miss us? Nice, Sylvia. Candy and cookies to share. Oh my god! I missed that voice! Yay! <laughs> Time traveler, it's so stifling in here. I was just about to go outside to get some air. It's the same temperature outside. Anyway, how was the trip here? Pretty smooth. Uh, to be honest, I also didn't expect this many people to show up. A third of this amount is more than enough for my plan. Why do you need them? You? I need to ask them about you, gather their thoughts and hopes. That will help the formation of your ancient name. Oh, uh, you brought the Pilgrim's Chronicle, right? Yeah. Let me uh, let me take a look. Okay, here you go. Hmm, okay. The progress looks good. We have enough people. So let's get started. Sorry I'm late. <gasps> okay, good. Her voice is the same. Chaska showing up late for something? That's a first. I had to follow a group of monsters further than expected. When I got back, I heard about what you did for my tribe. Thank you. Oh, that's the tribe. Haha, <laughs> if it says more than credits! Plus, if it weren't for your help doing the battle, the cut up plenty of uh, silver lump boy by the manpower spell, so only you'll to turn to fever. Well, guy, you're just doing our part. <clears throat> okay, let's save the pleasantries for later. Everyone's here, so let's get started. All right, let me remind everyone what's going to happen. I need each of you to stand before the Pilgrim's Chronicle and share your stories about the Traveler. Your words will be recorded and become a part of the Traveler's ancient name. Any, uh, questions? No. All right, then to start things off. Uh, hold on. Remember what we discussed? Oh, right. I almost forgot. Uh, traveler Paimon, you uh, can't be here for this part. Huh? But why? We want to hear what everyone has to say. I know people's reason. true thoughts and feelings. It's best if the subject in question isn't involved. It's much more difficult to express those feelings to someone's face. People get shy in those situations. It's, yeah, it's just how it is. But I'm the main character. Well, I guess. Just have enough more to pay for her meal, but she's too embarrassed to tell the traveler, so she has to make up some excuse. 
Hi, man. I don't think that's the same thing. <laughs> so basically, you want us to leave the Pilgrim's Chronicle here and wait nearby? Oh, don't worry. This shouldn't take long. Imagine it does take too long. Like, ugh. Everything she loaned and said made sense, but did you see C. Lolly's reaction back there? She was definitely the one who decided we should leave. <laughs> But staying out here is just making Paimon even more curious about what everyone's gonna say. Anyway, you're gonna have an ancient name soon. Ooh, that's so exciting! Feels like we've been in Natland for quite a while already, doesn't it? We've been trying to together for even longer. You're right! If only Paimon could say a few things about you in there. Well, looks like you're about to have that chance. Oh, no, it's fast! Shilonen, is everything all set? Almost. We're just missing one last thing. You've been by the traveler's side the longest, Paimon. We need to hear what you have to say. But Paimon's not from that land. Oh, it doesn't matter. As a traveler's companion, your contributions are extremely important. You're the perfect person to finish the story. Finish the goddamn story by Paimon! I'm sorry, traveler. I just need to borrow Paimon for a second. It, it should be quick. It's just yoink, sir. <laughs> like, yoink! This part still is just quite some time passes. Why are you choke holding her? <sighs> <sighs> that took a lot of expected. Simon gave us a lot. Whew, and I mean a lot of information. I'm not even sure the Lord of the Night managed to get all of it. Well, we've been to Six Nations already. Here, you can have the Pilgrim's Chronicle back. I'll need it when I forge the name, but you can continue your adventures in the meantime. And when the time comes, I will forge you an ancient name unlike anything that's come before. So that you, Moika, and Natlin as a whole, can finally put an end to this endless war. Oh, is that it? Hold on, is it a part two? Or is that a complete It was that long, not gonna lie, but you know what? That's pretty good. Oh, but I'm gonna do. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.